Hi, this is Sean. This is a very quick tutorial for how to create an animated material in Unreal. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a color and a roughness animated switch in the, well, we'll do it in the level blueprint. All right, so we'll do this fast. Right click, create a material, call this M, my anim material. Open that up. Now, you can create regular colors and regular black and whites, but we want parameters. So I'm going to hold down V for vector parameter. We'll call this M color and we'll call hold down the S key and we'll call this M rough. Those are just variable names. We'll plug that into the base and we'll plug this into the roughness. So these are the variables and we're gonna plug those in. So now we'll set the default roughness to something a little bit rough, a little bit uh, so that it's not too shiny to start and we'll call it with this blue to start and we'll shift it to something green. So now if we like that, we can drag that into the color picker. So as our start color so once those are set, we can hit save and close this. And in order to make this animatable, it has to be a material instance. So we'll right click, create this as a material instance. I like to put a prefix on there and we'll just drag that onto the object. All right, great. So now in order to, if we wanted to mod this, we could just, the great thing about material instances is we can like, make changes and it'll update in the level. But what we want to do is we want to modify this in game. So we're going to go into the level blueprint and we're going to create, we're going to grab this as a variable. So we'll right click, create a reference to it. And then what we're going to do is at the beginning of the level, we're going to declare this as a match. We're going to, we need it to become a dynamic material. So we'll drag off this. So say, I just typed dynamic, create dynamic material instance. We'll plug that in. And we need to specify the material. So it was M I my animated material instance. Now we could just drag off of this, but I'm gonna create a variable. So I'm gonna right click and promote this to a variable. We'll call this my anim. my anim material variable there we go now we need to be able to call that variable in order to modify it and how are we going to call it well we could create a some sort of event right so an easy way to do an event is either you could bump it to something in game or in this case i'm just going to bind it to a key so We'll say right click, keyboard, Y. So anytime I hit Y, then we need to call that variable. So drag that down, make it a getter, hold down the control key. So now we are going to get the vector and scalar parameters and set them. Vector, well, we'll, we'll set those. So we set this vector and scalar. And we'll set the scalar parameters. So now if we did just this and we tested it, it would work. So I'm gonna hit Y. Well, maybe it wouldn't work. Why isn't it working? We forgot to plug in the parameters. So need to plug in those M color and M rough. Where did we get those from? Let's quickly go back and remind ourselves. These were the color names that we set here. M color and M rough. Let's see if it works now. I'm going to hit the Y key and bam. But what if we wanted to animate this over time? Well, we could do something like putting in a timeline. So why don't we do that? Whoops. Let me go back to the level blueprint. 
and we'll put in a timeline. Now you gotta make sure you plug the timeline in right. So I'm gonna plug the timeline to play and into update. Now we're gonna create, we need two variables to modify the color and scalar. So this, we can add a color track. So we probably, unless we want it to pop, you want the starting color to look the same, which was this. That's why I dropped into the color picker. So that makes it convenient. We'll change it to something green and we'll do it over two seconds. because We don't want to take too much time. Let's go to two seconds here. Okay. It's going to turn green. Great. And what else? We wanted to change the roughness. So that's a, a float track. So here we are in the float track. I'm going to hold down the shift key to add a keyframe and a keyframe here. We'll set this start value to, it was 0.8, and then it went down to about zero in order to make it shiny. So now we've got that set. Let's plug those in. Oh, we should probably name them. So we'll select here. I hit F2. We'll call this color track. And we'll select this, hit F2, and we'll call this. Yeah, this is the color track. Can't name it the same thing. This is the F2 rough track. All right. I want to name them the right, the correct names. <laughs> All right, so we've got the color track. Let's plug that in. And the roughness track, plug that in. Compile, hit F7 or whatever. Close that. Hit play. Hit Y. Oh, look, it's changing. Woohoo. All right, we got it. So that's quick summary for how to quake, like the most simple animated material. Thanks for watching.